That's right, guys. The men's basketball team fell in Bloomington to the Hoosiers 77-64. to Yeah, well, that was a real tough loss as they dropped 0-2 in the Big Ten now. But for women's basketball, the team is off to quite a start this season as they now sit at 8-1 and on the year. Yeah, Megan Gustafson is making a name for herself in the Big Ten and on the national stage with her performances so far this season. And the women's basketball team was back in, on track this weekend as they played Sunday against the Samford Bulldogs. The team was looking to bounce back from a tough home loss against the ranked Florida State team last week in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. And the Hawks had no issue getting past the Bulldogs with the Hawks taking the game 80-59. Iowa was led by junior Megan Gustafson who had 18 points and 11 rebounds on the night. This was Gustafson's eighth double-double of the season which gives her 35 career double-doubles. Gustafson wasn't the only player with a standout night though. Hannah Stewart also added 17 points to the mix which was a career high for Stewart. Next up for the Hawks, uh, Iowa will travel to the Ames to take on Iowa State this Wednesday at 6.30 in the annual Corn Cyhawk Series matchup. As we mentioned earlier, Megan Gustafson had another big night for the Hawks, which is why she was named Big Ten Player of the Week. Over the past week, Gustafson averaged 26 points and 10 rebounds, and she shot over 70% from the field. This is Gustafson's fourth straight on weekly honor. The past two weeks, she was named to the weekly honor roll in the week of November the 13th, she was named the Player of the Week in the Big Ten. This is the 10th weekly honor of Megan's career, but this wasn't the only accolade Megan received this week. Yeah, that's right. Justin Gustafson, along with Iowa football's Josh Jackson, were named the November Student Athletes of the Month. Gustafson is following two standout performances, which has helped Iowa get to an impressive 8-1 and one on the year. And junior defensive back Josh Jackson is an leading the nation in interceptions with seven picks on the year, and three of those came from the Big Ten champions, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Josh Jackson and the rest of the football team will close out their season December 27th in the Bronx when they take on Boston College in the New Era Pinstripe Bowl, which will be held in historic Yankee Stadium. The Iowa women's gymnastics team is coming off one of their strongest seasons yet, and they were, able to get, and they were happy to get back on the mats and show the Hawkeye fans what is to come this season. Reporter Nicole Tomasic has tells us more. Women's gymnastics just started off their season with an intro squad meet. They had black and gold teams that played each other, which were super competitive, and they will have a strong season to come. The black and gold meet is an annual kickoff event to the Iowa women's gymnastics season. The team divides in half and faces a high energy atmosphere where many Hawkeye fans come out to enjoy the show. This year, the event was even judged by Iowa's very own men's tennis team. The team got to show off their skills this season for the very first time. The Hawks will start their season come January, meaning they'll have some time to prepare. The hardest thing in this situation is we're separated. We don't do well when we're separated. Like, we're like a puzzle. <laughs> we don't function very well when we're apart. Put us together and we're fantastic. Um, so it was just difficult in seeing how they were away from each other. Once they got in that one group, a completely different dynamic. Well, my hopes for the upcoming season is that we continue to progress. This was our baseline starting point and whatever happens, I just hope that we keep building from this meet. You can catch Women's Gymnastics come January 6th at Arizona State. This is Nicole Tomasic reporting for DITV Sports. It'll be a while before the fans and see the Glitter Hawks back in action with their season opener, opener taking place January 6th at Tempe, Arizona, where they will they, we'll take on the Arizona Sun Devils and, the Iowa, and Iowa State in a tri-meet. That's it from us in the sports studio, but be sure to tune in tomorrow for a look at the past 100 years of the Iowa swimming program. And a preview of women's basketball matchup between Iowa State and Iowa. Guys, back to you at the desk.